get going at five this morning, like I have been for the last little while now to move bees. And that early effort goes to waste because I've had a malfunction on the arm. Uh, one of the solenoids, I imagine, has uh, probably just burnt out. So I'm in the process of replacing the solenoid. Thank goodness it's, well not thank goodness, it's so bloody cold I had to scrape frost off the window this morning. But the only good thing about that is I'm not really on a timeline today because uh, it's so cold the bees are not going to fly today anyways. I have a spare, so I'll see if the spare works. And I think the reason I have that sitting in the as a spare is, is actually the one that doesn't work. So I'm probably going to have to run to Winkler to go pick up one. That might just be the better option. Uh, just, you know, great start to the day. Oh, what a nice sound. Four hours later, got the parts, got everything put back together. So now to move these hives, they're just waking up on me. I'm not losing too many to drift, they're just starting. I can smell just drifts of brood. Just a developing nest. It smells absolutely fantastic. That's been the only thing that's really been keeping me in good spirits while I fix this damn thing. Just smelling terrific hives that I'm going to be moving. So at any rate, I'm going to put this back together and get this load moved out. Thought I'd save you all the fuss and not video my day. It hasn't really been the smoothest of days. It is now three o'clock and it's taken me 10 hours to move 40 hives out. Just one of those days, might as well spent my time inside the honey house scraping frames. It's plus nine out right now and kind of cloudy, feels real cool, but the bees are actively foraging. Not a lot, just little drifts of bees coming in. So I wanted to keep going. I didn't want to hold up my work, so I pulled out two yards from here. I'm going to leave this last yard just to collect the drifters coming back. But as I'm loading these colonies out on the truck, I get that sense of full. These colonies are full. They need space. There's one that was just starting to boil out of the front entrance on me. It's like, oh boy. So they're starting to tell me every time I come and visit them, every time I come and do my bee work, they're starting to tell me, just remind me, hey, we need some space here. So not tomorrow. I'm going to get the guys to sort boxes all day tomorrow. But Wednesday, we're going to go out and we're just going to start slapping down seconds and get these hives with space on. Now's the time. When they start telling you, you better start. You better listen to them because they'll start making their own plans, and you don't want that to happen. But it, it is so very encouraging. Like I had just a shit day today with trouble I was having with my equipment and and partsmen and all this kind of crap. But the value in these colonies, the sheer integrity I've got going on in this apiary is just outstanding. For such a tough spring we've had so far, I can hardly believe it. These colonies are growing and I just have to be able to keep up to it. So that means we got to work a little bit harder, gain those two extra hours in the morning and then, you know, slug through those two last hours in the evening. <laughs> 